So from birth to death, you think of this river that flows this way. And the initiatory passage or transformational journey flows opposite the flow of life, like a river running side by side, moving in the opposite direction. And that river begins with a death and ends with a birth. So uh, great, I always say great journeys uh, are always preceded by great loss um, and transformation so that the, it, the, this process of death and rebirth, the death lodge is place of healing, place of reconciliation, um, of reconnecting with our authentic self um, beyond the layers of, of uh, uh, meaning and stories that we may have taken on that don't belong to us. Um, I say that when you, when you go to meet your ancestors, you want to be standing in your own life and not another's. And if you are not initiated in some way into the, the bone memory of your own mythology, you will likely be living a life that's not entirely your own. So in the context of initiatory passages, uh, rites of passage, initiatory experiences, they are designed to activate the memory of the, the, the gift of medicine that you came into this world to offer. Um, and uh, the way I've learned to think about it from my teachers, um, if you imagine uh, that you, before coming into this world, you, you look down and you, you see what's happening and you say, I have this gift that I can bring there that will help them. And you look around the realm of the ancestors and you say, and I need your help and your help and your help and your help because you too carry this gift. And then we come into this world. And coming into this world, um, we, we carry that uh, signature or frequency of uh, a way of belonging to this world that is about that which we have to offer. And we're also connected to certain uh, ancestral helping spirits that also carry that same frequency of, of medicine or gift. Um, there's an old uh, Celtic proverb that says that the troubles in this world, this physical world, can only be, can only be healed from the other world. And yet the troubles that still reside in the other world can only be healed from this world. And so what that tells us is that there's this reciprocal relationship of healing between ourselves and our ancestors. Um, that in indigenous cultures, when they talk about community, they don't just mean uh, living human people. And they don't just mean humans, they mean uh, all peoples, human and non-human peoples, living and non-living peoples, this is community. And so um, Death Lodge brings into uh, that framework, this understanding of a connection with the sacred, with the ancestral realm, um, to, to both heal uh, not only our, our personal stories of, of uh, disassociation from ourselves, um, but also any ancestral threads of, of uh, challenge or difficulty that have uh, transferred through the bloodlines um, that we too carry. Um, so this way of, um, so, so in the context of what, what is meant by this word death lodge, it is that, that very thing that, um, that it is a preparation for birth. And so that to, to have a good death, to do that reconciliation, that healing work in Death Lodge, means that it opens up, um, opens us up to the story that lies in front of us. Uh, the story uh, that is, is looking over its shoulders at us, waiting for us to remember. <laughs> 